So the first time I ever saw you play was at Arctic Entries. And I think you played white male. Yeah, you played white male privilege, and it like blew my mind. That that show changed my changed everything. Because yeah. then all of, like the liberals started paying attention to me and coming to the show. Because it was just like the punk kids, and then it was like, oh, now there's like puffer vests are showing up at my shows, and you know, down skirts, and uh, you know, you know who you are. Uh, <laughs> People like me. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. yeah. Um, which I appreciate, you know, because you guys are like, you guys have middle-aged white ladies. Well, you guys have like a disposable income. All my songs are like self-critical, and so I didn't know who would want to engage with that. And now it's shifted, like because of Anchorage's love for me. I think, like, because of y'all's love for me, because of all the punk crew kids, like all the the different scenes that have like rallied around us. Well, I lived here when I was 18 for six yeah. months and I was like, I'm good on this probably. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll see you later. I didn't, I never had, never. I moved to Nashville to like be a musician and mm -hmm. didn't work out. So can you like take your career to the next step being in Anchorage? Ooh. Yes and no. I'm out of town a lot. Um, and I'm just, I'm basically just like breaking even. Like I'm not, I'm not like, I think a lot of people in town have this conception that I'm like fucking paid and like making money. It's like I'm not, I'm literally just like making enough to like go do the next tour. When I leave, I have to kind of stay gone mm -hmm. to make it affordable. Um, so the only other option is like move to like move south, right? Yeah. Or stay here and just like bite the bullet and be gone a lot. I don't want to leave, but I think I might have to for a couple years. I ideally want to keep roots here. And I mean, my brother is here, my, my nephew's here, my parents are here, like, I don't think anybody's going anywhere. But there's a lot of shame. I have a lot of shame wrapped around it. Like, I don't, I don't want to be no. like the one, you know, everyone's like, Alaskans have that, they have that chip on their shoulder. Like, yeah. the one, it's the like, same oh, one I have, okay, right? Hollywood, you're yeah. back now? Yeah. yeah. Or, oh, are you going to leave us? Yeah. Like, like, Jewel, like, Portugal, like, blah, blah. You know, everyone has that, like, it, like reference to, yeah. we had a nice thing and then it left. Creating all my music and art here for the past seven years, it feels like, oh, I am a part of this place now. And this place is a part of me. And so then there's this relationship. And now I'm just allowed to be here. Like, someone asked me what Anchorage was like. And I was like, oh, it's like, you can literally call your favorite bar and be like, Hey, on Tuesday, can we show this movie? Yeah. It's my favorite movie. And they'd be like, sure, whatever. And maybe that's because you and I are super cute and charming. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm sure that's it. Yeah. When the pandemic started, we had like, I think we had like 2,000 monthly listeners and maybe 2,000 Instagram followers. And it was this sort of small, humble hometown thing. And then now it's like 200,000 monthly listeners and like, you know, 10, 15,000 Instagram followers and like, the, none of that shit matters. Totally. Like it didn't change the legitimacy of what we've been doing yeah. at all. Or like how you feel about the product you're creating. No, yeah. it's the same. I get stoned, I feel feelings, I write them down, I get my guitar out, I sing about it, I get drunk, I play them, you know? Like it's the same fucking process. Yeah. But now all of a sudden there's this like stamp of legitimacy people will come up to me and they think like oh you must be killing it bro like saw your blue check i saw how many followers you have on whatever and it's like again yeah. i'm still bartending i'm yeah. still like sweeping roofs with my brother i'm still like living you know hand to mouth like yeah. it's going well but it's nothing's nothing is really changed i just think it's very interesting that you as like a 25 year old were like writing these songs that I perceive to be like salty beyond your years you know like yeah you're a good-looking 25 year old and you're writing songs about like being you know like at the end of a marriage because you hung up rope lights in your backyard <laughs> and I'm just like how Thank you so much. like that's how, how where does that shit come from probably my parents mm. my parents are they had me old mm. They had me when they were 39, going on about turn 40. I just hung out with older people. Yeah. And you just hear everyone's vitriol and bullshit and nasty stories. And I just got this huge chip on my shoulder 
And it didn't really like land in Nashville. Like people were like kind of jarred by it. But yeah. the Alaskans fuck hard with yeah. just talking so honestly about how awful and <laughs> yeah. insane you feel, right? Yeah. Like I want to be the buckaroo of, of Anchorage yeah. band. Like this bar is for people yeah. who work in the service industry. I want to be an artist for artists. Yeah. I want to create a thing that like sad, drunk people can like commiserate with. What's the vibe of your lower 48 shows? Like, is it like, I've been, obviously been to your shows here, yeah. but never been to one outside. They, they're not, they're not the same this year. Like there's not 15 year old girls like screaming over you and like singing every lyric? There is not, <laughs> but it's not as rowdy as it is here. Alaskans like come to see us play out of the state mm -hmm. and like, freak the entire crowd out. They yell, they scream, like I talk about, you know, the Seward Highway in a song and everyone like <laughs> fucking shits their pants. Cause like last year we did like a Seattle Portland run mm -hmm. and then a bunch of them showed up and they were like moshing some kid with his shirt off, you know, like, yeah. and like half the crowd thinks they're like at the soft indie show and they like, you know, they just get freaked out. Like I saw a couple of people running this morning. Yeah. It was like negative three degrees and there was like a couple running together with like buffs and yeah. her eyebrows and the eyelashes were all yeah. crusted up with ice and stuff. Mm -hmm. Said not me. <laughs> Said me and Emily. Yeah. We're gonna go meet up at Darwin's. That's true.